Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Portal 2. So, uh, we're in a bit of a predicament here. Oh, did I actually, like, mess up a little? Oh, I might have. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, I think we're, we're good. We're past the point. We just need to walk along this anyway. Yeah, so, uh... We got sent down a long, long hole last time. Sort of glad us, really. You know implanted into a potato what is this condemned testing area no oh, there's something behind here there's also a portal wall here so it looks like we gotta have to portal to something can you see from here I forget maybe not Aha! Uh -huh. All the way up there. Whew, it's a long way down. Thankfully, we have those boots that, you know, keep us from dying. <laughs> if we didn't have those, we would, uh, be screwed. Look at all this. Miles deep, huh? Well, we can't turn back now. Into the depths of Aperture. My god. This place is, uh... Absurdly large. And also one of the coolest reveals in this game as you delve more into the background of it all. Oh, this can't possibly be good. That's a... Uh, it's a big vault. A very big vault. Huh. Well, at least we can open portals here. Well, we've done this before. In the event of flooding, seek air pockets. <laughs> Oh, I'll try and uh, find as many of those things as I can. Test shaft 09. Do not enter. Is test shaft 9 the thing I have to keep an eye out for? I don't think so. I think we have to keep an eye out for something else. Oh, same thing. Event of flooding. Keep an eye out for air pockets. Supplementary hatch reclusion override. Well... That, uh... Alright. It's a big, uh, big door. Really big door. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Well... It was impressive for the moment. <laughs> and then we go up here. I guess uh, we'll access the uh, small door. Wherever this leads. Okay. And through the door. Oh. Let's not go into the water. You don't think there's anything alive in there, do you? No, probably just toxic water. Wow. Well then, uh, okay. What's this? 
contamination area. Vitrified. Interesting. What does that mean? Vitrified. Also vitrified. Can't get in there. Experiment discontinued. Well, kind of wish we had a flashlight. But, uh... Don't think there's anything over here anyway. So, fun fact, I do think finding all the uh, vitrified doors is an achievement. I believe I have it already. I will try to find as many as I can, but it's hard for me to keep track if I'm already, like, done this, essentially. Anyways, we gotta head into one. Before we do that, this isn't the area that I'm thinking of for something special, is it? No, that's a little bit later, I think. 1952, huh? Wow, this goes back a long way. Pull lever. Wait, where's the lever? Oh. Carolyn. In comes my favorite character of this entire series. Cave Johnson just sold this game to me beyond anything else. Literally the best part of this game. Nothing else beats Cave Johnson. I'm serious. And uh, you'll see why. Uh, also, Carolyn. Didn't that little turret mention Carolyn? Nah, it's gotta be... It's gotta be something else. What does that mean? Who knows? Aha! So we can fling ourselves somewhere. But where? Well, I'll show you where. Oh! I don't think actually flinging ourselves over here does anything, but I'm gonna test it because I've never actually tried. Nope, does not do anything. Okay. Sorry for wasting your time. I only do that because, like, sometimes the oh god damn it, ugh. Whoops. There we go. All right. So one right there, and one. Come on. Somehow managed to fall past the one spot that you can fall in. Damn it. There we go. Well, uh... I guess we'll just keep going. I don't... We can't get up there, can we? Oh, god damn it. This is gonna bug me, because this might be one of the places where I've actually missed... An achievement before. Like. <sighs> now I have to know. Because I haven't explored this game as much. Just playing it like this. Like. If I do that there. Will I get flung onto that platform? Oh, I will. What is this? Main lift. Notice, please excuse the inconvenience, this elevator is out of service until forever. So you can't get into this main elevator. Oh, well, you know, I'm happy I did this because I've actually never, I never went up here before and that's still kind of cool for me. 
That would have been a cool way to be like, oh, I gotta get over there now. Anyways. Wasting more time, wasting more time. Alright. Let's get over to where we just were. Go through that little circle. Or go through the aperture, rather. Whee! Hit our face against the wall. Oh. You'll know when the test starts. Oh, Lord. Uh, well, I don't see any lines, actually. Look at all this. Spirit of Idaho, National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science, 1955. Ball buys a salt mine. So this used to be a salt mine. Shower curtain salesman of 1943, aperture fixtures. So they used to make shower curtains. What did they say? I can barely read them. Oh wait, how do I zoom in? There we go. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year runner-up. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year runner-up. I wonder who number one was. Black Mesa, if you did guess by the, you know, thing. Also, is that Arabic? It kind of looks like Arabic. I'm not entirely sure. Shower curtain salesman of the year. Yeah. Interesting. This is fascinating to me. More games should do stuff like this. Just give me a section in the middle of the game where, like, a mystery is put to you and you get to see, you know, what you were looking for. No? Hey, we're up here now. I guess uh, we're going to keep going down the place where we are going before aperture science Ooh, that is a sphere up there we'll get acquainted to the spheres look at all the ashtrays oh it's already down here wait for attendant to begin lift oh i guess i am the attendant i guess we could have tried to walk up but there wasn't a place for us to do that. <clears throat> so I think there are vitrified doors like throughout this section. I don't think there are just the three down there. Oh, wait a minute. Do not fall down elevator shaft. Oh, wait. We could have totally gone right there. Oh. Okay, never mind. You can go down normally without an issue. I don't think there's actually anything over here. Ah, there's something we need to get to over there. Pump Station Alpha. There's uh, more vitrified doors over there. See, there's there's vitrified doors all over this section. And Pump Station Alpha, huh? Well, looks like the way that we're supposed to go just doesn't exist anymore. It's not, uh... It's not, you know, walk right onto there. That would that would be dumb. Huh. Okay. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. Right. There used to be a door here. That got walled up. Another. Need to go to the bathroom oh. after this next series of tests. Please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Hmm. 
This door is not vitrified. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Right. Well, uh, so those, I think all the doors actually activate those, like if you try to do something. So, you know, fun little thing to do. Get some more uh, dialogue from him. What we need to do is now that we're here, we can ex see exactly what we're doing. There's a little pad we can actually fall down. Don't fall down the elevator shaft. Unfortunately, we're going to have to. because below the elevator shaft and that's why this second to last floor is open is concrete whoop oh all right i made it pump station alpha no your allergens pollen animal dander plastics antimatter Wait a minute, what? No, your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. No, your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. Pump station alpha. Yeah, we're quite a ways below the surface. Like a lot. Gel pressure control, huh? Well, we turn to the sun. Whatever this is. Hmm. I'm sure that was a good thing to do. Spoiler alert. It was. Well, we can get up to here. And then there's a door we can't get through. But it's okay because we have portals, right? Oops. Oh, another door. I don't think that one's actually vitrified, though. Well, we turned on this pump, whatever it does. Oh. Well. Can't go this way. Guess we follow the gel flow. Big great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Oh. Time to go do science, I guess. Out of the frying pan and into the fryer, they say. Did I say fryer? Fire. I meant fire. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Oh, Lord. Well, yeah, I'm glad we got the uh, gel. Whatever that gel does. Yeah, we're there. There's a lot of test chambers here. Well, not really. And we're not going to be able to access all of it because some of it's broken. This chest is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 09 enrichment activities. So we have to have a portal gun for this. This was designed back in the 50s? Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt at create a di diet dietetic... Pudding substitute? It's true! The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently adjusted food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from the shelves. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that uh, a gel that doesn't let you eat and then bounces everything out of your stomach is kind of volatile. Also, it's made out of fiberglass. Not good to eat. You know. Well, that, I guess that's the gel. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the blue gel is super fun, guys. Super fun. Well, there's a button here. So that button opens that door. Okay. Well, we need to get to that button. Physics. 
conserves momentum in this game. Oh god. However, it also bounces shit all over the place. So we gotta carry this back. Simple. Simple enough, My rather. Has just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> It's true. Next chest chamber this way. Right. So we got to find another way to get there. Obviously, it's going to involve portals. Well, let's find out what's up there. So this way to the experiment? Or does that just actually... Oh, well, we can drop down there. What's around here? I don't think I've ever actually checked. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I don't remember. It's been a very long time. Ooh. This is certainly something different. Oh, right. It's the uh, observation rooms. Can we not open the panels for the windows? Oh. Yeah, there's there's a few of those scattered about the place. I think there's also one back there that you can get to if you really want to. But... I don't think we need to. There's nothing really important back this there. Next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Tumors? What? Well, don't worry. If you sat on a bowling chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh my god. Yeah, so they uh, just gave people cancer, you know. Cause that's what you do. Oh boy. Well, let's see what this button does. Uh huh. Well, we need a box for that, so we need to get that box. How do we get that box? Well, we need to drop down. Nope. <sighs> God, really? Alright. I need to do this easier this time. Get, not get stuck on the floor. I love the music. It's so dynamic. You get this little, like, flurry of notes whenever you're uh, bouncing on the gel and stuff like that. Oops. Alright, so that opens that. However, we're also going to need the box a little bit later. Hmm. Conundrum. Well, let's just see what's up there. So, box, another thing. Hmm. Curious. We'll see how we finish this in a second. Oh, wow. I thought I wasn't actually going to reach that. Okay. So, over here, there's another box. Oh, interesting. Oh, I don't think there was supposed to be a... Uh, broken thing down there but there is man these old uh, weighted storage cubes they look a lot different also just to check it out I wonder can you actually get anywhere if you jump out of here or is that the old testing chamber yeah that's the one you were previously in okay just curious all right, well, now that we're in here, we have that one unlocked. Okay, well, that's how we get to the exit. Oh, boy. I love the gel. It's so cool. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this. It's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Right. Noted. Oh, I thought this was a loading screen. Oh. So it was. All right. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. What? 
Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Well then. Alright. Asbestos. I mean, this was the 50s? I actually don't know what, uh... Where we are. Do not lean on railing. Oh, I, I really thought it was about to, like, fall over. That would have been a nice little touch. Well, we've got concrete on the bottom of the pillars here. Weird that, like, only bits of the pillars are made of, uh, the white concrete. Well, alright. So there's a few different things up there. Is that white concrete? Yes, it is. Alright, well, there's a testing chamber right there. What else do we get a view of? Not a lot, unfortunately. In fact, I don't think you get a view of pretty much anything other than going here. That's okay. Actually, we should... can we not? That's not a... oh. That's not a place. It's open. Weird. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Alright. Cave's not the... Well, we already know he's sort of morally ambiguous. Oh. Well, then. By the way, you can actually get covered in this, and it won't hurt you. It just sort of makes your screen blue for a second. But now we get a chance to do what we want. Oh. Also, pretty sure you can shoot it outside, too. Sure, we won't need that. Um, let's see. Well, we need to get up there. So we just gotta shoot some blue, right? No, it gets you blue everywhere. You could cover the place in blue. Because you can place portals over blue as long as there was white concrete underneath. Oh, interesting. It could go on the ceilings, too. I think that's actually important to remember for later. Alright, we got some there. I only wish it, like, came out a little bit quicker. Alright, we got that done. Do we need any over here? We can't put any over there. Okay. Just for fun. What happens if you, uh, put it in the water? Nothing. Okay, good to know. Science! Experimentation! All the fun stuff! Alright. Hmm. Well, thankfully, you can still place portals if there was one concrete underneath at one point. Aha! So we need to make it there. Alright, well, how do we do that? This is brilliant. The game never actually tells you this. It just shows you, it just gives you a problem and asks you to solve it. Gel can go through the barriers. And as soon as you see that, you understand, oh, okay, so gel can go through it. It doesn't follow the rules as normal items. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we could track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Oh boy, good thing I wasn't part of the initial testing regime. That would have been deadly in every sense of the word. Ugh. 
All right, last one for today, folks. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay, beeping. So, this shows you a new thing. They don't tell you what this is. It's just water, by the way. Pure, actual, normal water. Well, at least I think it's water. It might be something else. Actually, it's most definitely something else. But, you shoot it there, you realize, hey, it doesn't go anywhere because the water is stopping it. But that's where we need to go. Aha, so we have to stop the water. Well, how do we do that? We gotta get goop there. Can't get the goop there normally. So we do the thing that I was doing before. You gotta place it underneath and then move it. And then while that's like that, that goes through there and then you go up through there. It's brilliant. It doesn't like hold your hand and then none of the games have, but it's like, they don't tell you like about the boxes and those fields. They do tell you. But here, right, this no. This next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay, yeah. So, don't listen to your future self. Whatever that means. Ah, so there's something dripping. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get anywhere, because this just ends here. Well, that's weird. It's been closed off. Alright. So... I can't go past there. That shoots over the edge. Whoops. It was a little scary. <laughs> but, uh, alright. Well, seems simple enough. Get out here. And then we make a fall. Bounce up. And through here. Yeah, so this is actually a different gel. It's not just water. It says gel flow. Uh, I guess it's a type of gel that gets rid of the other gel. Never mention what it is. Never brought up. It's not really that important. Everybody's just interested in the other things. You will be hurt. Coworkers, don't endanger your others. Oh, accidents hurt you. You will be hurt. Accidents hurt coworkers. Don't endanger others. Accidents hurt the company. Replacements are costly. Accidents hurt science. Investigations impede progress. Safety first. But that that goes against a lot of what you guys are showing. Well, as you can see, we're gonna have to get somewhere from here. Well, we can definitely jump a lot of places, but where's that actually gonna lead us? So I love this. You take the testing tracks that are broken down, dilapidated, and you start involving them in other portions of the game. See where this is going? If you don't, I mean, think about it a little bit. It's not that hard. Uh, do we need to cover anything else? I don't think so. So we'll come out of there, bounce off that, and go up, I'm pretty sure. Well, like 40% sure. Oh, let's find out. Yay! 40% was right. Good enough. Probably not by Cave Johnson standards. He probably needs more than 40%, but still. Aha. Uh -huh. So, we can open up a portal here. And from there... Where we gotta go? So that's not portable down there. Where are we going? I have no idea. Um, aha! If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras. That sounds like 
They didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use the work, though. Now let's solve this thing. All right. Okay. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time because this right here is an achievement that I don't have. And we're going to have to do it a couple times in order to get it. And we're sort of running out of time here. So, next time, we'll get an achievement. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get your fucking achievement, goddammit. Also, I really hope that I didn't miss the other thing. But I think that's when we find something else later. So, I think we're all good. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.